At the kidneys, blood is filtered to form filtrate, and some of this filtrate then becomes urine. Most of this filtrate is reabsorbed into the blood, but how much filtrate is reabsorbed into the blood is under hormonal control. Renin activates the angiotensin system, which then induces the secretion of the hormones ADH and aldosterone. Together, these promote the reabsorption of water from kidney tubules so that it does not end up in the urine and is reabsorbed into the blood. This increased blood volume then increases blood pressure. The hormone atrial natriuretic peptide, or ANP, which is secreted by the heart, this decreases the activity of the renin angiotensin system. And so, therefore, this would suppress this process, resulting in the inclusion of more fluid from the blood in urine. And so, therefore, this would tend to decrease blood volume and thus blood pressure. There are other hormones which can affect blood pressure as well. Some such as epinephrine and norepinephrine, and also one of the effects of renin is to cause vasoconstriction of blood vessels. Since blood vessel diameter is one of the major factors determining the resistance to blood flow, and thus the blood pressure needed to overcome this resistance, vasoconstriction narrows the diameter which then increases the resistance and thus increases blood pressure. So epinephrine and renin would then increase blood pressure through vasoconstriction. Other factors such as nicotine, which also causes vasoconstriction, would thus also increase blood pressure.